Hello there and welcome back to the channel. So here with another South Park Phone Destroyer video on today's Saturday, July 24th of 2021. Like always, I'm going to go ahead and do my run for the Kenny Crew. My apologies for the late video today. As, as I'm recording this right now, it's 5.53 p.m. On the east coast of the US. I normally record my videos around 9 in the morning, but today I had a trip. I had a hike planned with the family. So, yeah, uh, I hiked today about eight, nine miles uh, and just arrived back. So that's why I'm recording this. So, my apologies for that. But hey, I'm pretty sure you guys understand. So, let's go right into what we're going to be doing today in the video. Uh, like I always, I'm going to start by picking the winner for last week's giveaway. Then we're going to go over the options that we had for the war this week. Come up with a strategy, do our runs, and also start a new giveaway. So if you're interested in that, stay tuned because I'm going to give you the instructions in a short little bit. So let's uh, let's take a quick look before we pick the winner. Uh, last week, we did pretty good. We managed to get position number two uh, with 43 runs. 3,911 points for the crew. So congrats, congrats. And right now, because we're starting early, we get to see all these nice scores for the crew. But right now, the crew has 1,697 points with a total of 18 runs, which means we're slightly below 100 points per run, somewhere around 98 to 97 points, somewhere around there. Um, don't quote me on that. My mental calculator is not, it's not working as good today. But that's awesome. We'll get, we'll get to see if we get to add a perfect score or if we get to add at least 10 points to that score. Um, if you want to know, stay tuned for that. But before we do that, let's go ahead and pick the winner for last week's giveaway. Now, the winner for today's giveaway will get its hands on three copies of the Epic of his or her choice, 315 in cash, 2,000 Carmen coin, and 3,000 PVP tickets. Um, if you're interested in knowing how you could participate on this particular video stay tuned because i'm going to give the instructions in a short little bit so here we are we have the video that i published last week uh it was the uh, week number 28 the ecpz war uh, and on that video i ask you a simple question let me know which of the two doogies did your team pick and why did you guys went that way um we had the option of picking dwarf engineer doogie or power feast doogie um, I had a concern um, during my discussion of the of the deck that I thought that Dwarf Engineer Doogie would have been better uh, for us than uh, Power Feast Doogie. But at the end, it did not end up playing as I thought it would. Um, it wasn't really that important, but I wanted to know what you guys thought about it. So we had a bunch of comments here of people saying going one way or the other. Um, some of you guys went with what the team went. Um, some of you didn't <laughs> care because uh, they weren't upgraded uh, either way. Some of you had both of them maxed out. And both of uh, in both cases, you guys thought it was trash. Using daggies, doogies is trash. So a lot of different varied comments. Thank you so very much to everybody that commented. I really, really appreciate it. And I love hearing and reading all of your comments. So let's go ahead and copy that link. And we're going to go into pick a winner CO. Uh, YouTube random comment picker. We're going to place or paste that link right there. We're going to fetch the comments. We are not going to include replies and we are going to see how many comments we got. We got 30 comments this time around and we're going to pick that winner in three, two, one. And we're going to say congratulations to Avinash Maharaj. He's saying the team chose Power Fist, but I, but didn't make a difference. Mostly thought potatoes. Um, his in-game name is Pyro Slasher Zero One, and he wants Mary Jane Randy Avinash. You should get your prize. Number one, congratulations. Number two, you should get your prize in about a week time. So make sure you stay tuned. Let me know um, when the prize arrives, and if you can join our Discord, link is down below to let me know if you get it and when you get it. So uh, again, congratulations. Let's hop back into the game. All right, and here we are back into the game. Again, congratulations to Avinash. Now, guys, don't forget, if you find yourself coming back to my channel every weekend to check my content out, don't... Um, uh, and if you haven't subscribed yet, make sure you hit the subscribe button. Make sure that you enable all notifications 
hit the like button and also share the video with colleagues friends anybody that you know likes software from destroyer make sure you send them this way um i would truly appreciate if you guys could do that for me so like i said before we're going to be fighting this war and on this war we have five teams um in our deck superhero adventure fantasy sci-fi and last but not least a mystic so we have a representation of every single team and we're starting with toolshed we have jimbo chaos leanne sharon mecha timmy jesus mary jane randy witch garrison poison region last but not least the gnomes so a pretty very deck a pretty awesome deck by the way i think the team did an awesome job the an awesome job this week on picking number one the right options and number two leveling up the cards that matter to the right level so congrats again and thanks again to uh zachary for putting all the work on the last minute to make sure that we get the upgrades that we need in the right order and when they need to happen so again thanks uh, thanks to zachary for that and also thanks for him to sh to always screenshotting uh the team options or the deck options that we have because without him i wouldn't be able to show you what are the different cards that we're gonna have this week and these are the options that we had program stand versus uh toolshed chaos versus choir boy butters we have sharon versus uh cupid carmen Jimbo versus Officer Bar Brady, Tauli versus Leon, Mekatimi versus Medusa, Bebe, Jesus versus Ned, Wish Garrison versus Stormin Garrison, Regen versus Mind Control. Uh, we have Mary Jane Randy versus Sexy Non Randy, Super Fart and Poison, Four Ass Monkeys, and the Gnomes. So, pretty very deck like i said different themes different types of units i don't think we have a single uh removal with the exception of leanne all the other cards are pretty much hit and go um we just put them and pray to god that we can do something good with them right uh so a couple right from the start this card right here mr jimbo uh it's going to be the card that we need to focus our attention in we have a bunch of range units that jimbo can boost from ned from uh, cupid carmen sharon uh medusa bebe we have jesus and ned uh we need to actually pay a lot of attention we don't want uh jimbo boosting those cards up because we are going to have a very very bad time so let's go back into the game and come up with a strategy on how we are going to play this time around all right so in terms of cards in terms of openers what would i choose from well i would open with mary jane randy i could open with witch garrison i could open with jimbo i could even open with mega timmy i think those are all good opener cards and then for support role then jesus comes out uh tool shed is another option for support remember tool shed can 1v1 a lot of cards by himself if and if not he if he cannot kill them he can put a huge dent um into them just wait for those units to approach um and then you put your trap and then and then go from there but if we start with mary jane randy if we start with uh which garrison if we start with jimbo um obviously you want to be using uh leanne for support you want to be using mega timmy for support uh, that way you can uh, either keep them healthy or mind control any other other units that are coming in to support the enemy ones right now if you do start with jimbo remember uh we have two options for for him we have jesus as our first option and number two we have mikatimi and then we're gonna have sharon so those three cards are really good options to back up jimbo because the damage that he can stack up is freaking crazy now we do have poison in in the game poison will not kill any of our units specifically at least the level that i have them but it, they can do significant amount of damage so using region towards the end of that or actually not towards the end at the beginning to counteract the effect of poison is going to be key now we do have professor chaos so we want to make sure that we use professor chaos when all of our units are in the in 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 the middle of a battle if the enemy 
we want to make sure that we use them after the enemy uses his chaos. Um, we want to put the gnomes after the enemy puts his chaos. And if we put a Lian in, we want to make sure that we put those gnomes in um, after all the other units are targeting Lian so that we can get even more chickens. Now, uh, one thing about Lian is you want to make sure that you have something to defend those chickens uh, when they're headed towards you. Um, so yeah, specifically if you see the enemy putting Jimbo and then a couple of heavy uh, range units in behind him, uh, make sure that you put that Lian in, um, wait a few seconds, and then put Gnomes. Now, if Sharon was not the option, then it was going to be uh, Medusa Bebesi want to make sure that you uh, are aware of that if medusa baby kills uh your leanne then you are going to be in trouble if you were hoping for uh leanne to clear um the threat by converting all the other units to so i think with that i think that's going to be my my strategy um opening with randy opening with garrison opening with Mekitimi, um, waiting for the right moment to put that Jimbo, um, boost uh, any range unit that I can with that Jimbo, and then go from there. Remember, plans are plans, and the moment that you start battling, the plan goes out the door, and you are just improvising. You're just responding to what the enemy is doing. You really want to control the flow of battle, so you want the enemy to react to you, not the other way around. But that's that. I think with that, I think we're ready to go into battles. But before we do that, so let's go ahead and talk about the giveaway I mentioned earlier on the video. First of all, I want to thank I want to thank Redlings for giving me the opportunity of selecting one of you guys to win a streamer pack. What does a streamer pack contains? You ask. Well, it's easy. A streamer pack contains three copies of the epic of your choice, three hundred and fifty in-game cash. 2,000 Carmen coin and 3,000 PVP tickets. All you need to do in order to participate is do what you're doing right now. Be a subscriber to the channel, like the video, and then after you do that, pay attention to the question I'm gonna ask at some point during the battles and answer me that question in the comment down below and leave me your in-game name the epic card that you want to get three copies of and finally the answer to my question um i will pick the winner next week just like i did today um with my new video one important thing is that if you have one with me or any of the other content creators in the past 30 days you cannot win again so with that being said i want to wish good luck to every one of you and uh let's go back into the game all right, we are ready, guys. Wish me the very best of luck, and let's go into battle in three, two, one, and play. And here we go. First opponent has been found, Soup Brazil, or BR, and the name of his player is Sen85. He's sitting at 7,639. We have Hunter Jimbo, but we don't have any range units, so we're going to start with which Garrison and the back. And we're slowly going to see what we can do. He has the Mechatimi. So let's see what we can do. We will go. We will wait for him to waste his mind control there. Let's go here with this. Let's go with the Underpan Gnome. So I'm thinking that that's going to be a good option. And there we go. Chaos, chaos and chaos. That's going to be one hit. That's going to be two hits and a phone. Let's go with our Mechatimi on the back. We have Mary Jane Randy, so we have to be ready for him. But I think before doing Mary Jane Randy, we're going to go with our Hunter Jimbo. Let's go. Hunter Jimbo boosting that Mechatimi is going to be epicness. Perfect. So we have regen. We're going to use that in a short little bit. But we're going to put our Mary Jane Randy right here. Oh, baby. But it's okay. We're going to mind control that Leanne. Make sure that our... Um, how do you call it? Make sure that our Mechatimi is right and very far from him. Ah, oh, no. She actually walked forward. Can we slow down? Oh, that is perfect. 
That is perfect. Let's go with Leanne back here. Let's go with Wish Garrison on the front. We're going to mind control that Jimbo and take advantage of him. That's what we do here. Let's go ahead and make sure that we put everybody slow down. Let's go ahead and do some Jesus healing. Some underpan gnomes. And I think that is going to be it for him. Because after this, there's no coming back. Let's go ahead and do a nice healing here. And good game to him too. And that is match number one. And that is a victory. A perfect score with three phones. That is freaking amazing. I like this match a lot. So good game to you, my friend. I don't know if you have been on my channel. But if you have, congrats. You play that very, very good. All right. So victory number one. That was awesome. What did we learn here? Well, I think we apply our strategy very well. I could have done a little bit better with that Leanne. Um, I sort of, it caught me a little bit by surprise, but at the end it ended up being good. The mind control that he did was awesome because then that plant that he put, my make it me was attacking it and then he stayed out of range. Nothing that I really um, made happen. It was just the way it ended up being, but it was awesome for me to keep that mecha team alive doing Plus 200 damage. So let's go into battle number two and see how well we do. Perfect. And we're fighting against Tegrity Farms. And the player name is Adi. What is the name again? Adi. Adi loves you, Rach. Right. Um, he's sitting at 7,627. Um, starting with his Mary Jane Randy. That is perfect. We're going to go with our Witch Garrison. Slow him down. We're going to follow with Toolshed. But not yet, not just yet. Now we're going to do our tool shed. Ooh, that's, that was not very good for him. Or not for me, I guess. That mind control was epic. All right, so let's do... What are we going to do? Let's go ahead and do Sorcerer's Leon right here. Actually, I'm going to wait. Actually, let's put Sorcerer's Leon right here. We're going to do our Mega Teamy. We're going to wait a second. There we go. Let's go here. We'll mind control all of those cards right away. Put our Mayu Yin Randy right here. We're going to mind control one of those units. Ooh, he's going to get... He's going to get a phone because of me. But that's okay. We shall come back. We shall. Let's go. Let's go. Perfect. I'm going to do Jesus. I'm going to do Jesus right now. Just to keep everybody nice and healthy. We're going to mind control that. Go ahead with this. And now we shall get that phone. I mean, there's no if button when we're, it's going to happen. Whether he likes it or not. That's phone number one. Let's do a head some region. Phone number two. No, no, you're not doing that to me, my friend. Let's go. Oh, my Lord. And that was three phones right back to back. Good game to you, my friend. <laughs> Sometimes you got to give a phone to get three. And that was the case. That's what happened here. I gave away one phone and then game back three in back to back uh, fashion. All right, so two two battles, two wins, three phones each. Let's go ahead and do our last match to see what we get. Hopefully, we can get a perfect score. Fingers crossed. So let's go. All right, opponent found. We're fighting against Blue Shield, and his name is Steel Smoke, sitting at seven uh, eight thousand two hundred and fifty. The hardest opponent yet, or the highest elo player yet. We have nothing to start with, so let's start with our Leanne. Unfortunately, we'll start with that Leanne. And uh, that program stand right here will kill my underpan gnome, so I cannot, and I repeat, I cannot let him do that. Sigh, baby, sigh. All right, so like I said, sometimes you got to give a phone to get another. It's okay. I am happy to do that. Let's go. And I know we have that Leon right there. That is all good and dandy. 
Let's go with our make a teammate right here on the back. Well, he is doing that. I wouldn't have I wouldn't have done that at all. Yeah, I don't I'm not sure. I'm not sure what he was trying to do or what he was trying to accomplish. But hey, I will not don't don't interrupt your enemy in the process of making a mistake. And perhaps I'm the one doing the mistake. I don't know. <laughs> perhaps I'm the one doing the mistakes. That could be that could be true in this case. Let's go with um Let's go here with Leanne. My plant should be able to bring me some nice there we go. Should I, should I? Let's go ahead and do this. I think. All right. Well, still, he's still trying to. He's trying to kill my my Mekatimi. Is he gonna do it? He did it. That bastard. That bastard. Oh, let's go. Let's go with Jimbo. Let's buff that um sorcerer. Not only on that. Yeah. Let's let's butch Charon. Jesus. I my my mouth is failing me right now. All right. And that's gonna be two phones. And that should be three phones. Let's go ahead and do regen right now. Let's go ahead and do poison. And I did not do regen. And that is three wins. Jesus, that's awesome. Three wins, three phones, 114 points for the Kenny Crew. Freaking amazing. So like I said, that added 114 points for the crew, sitting at 1,811 points. I don't think, did we added an extra run after? No, so that's it. Uh, my, my run right there, I uh, added that extra one. So we'll see what the team can do um, in the next 24 hours and how well they can do. So at this time, you might be asking yourself, all right, so you have done, you have picked the winner. You have told me how to enter, but you have not given me the question on how I can actually participate in the giveaway. And you are right, I haven't, but now I will. And I'm pretty sure a lot of us have things that we wish the game had that it doesn't. Cards, modes, features. I want to hear all about that. Leave me a detailed comment down below with your in-game name and the epic that you want together with what you wish the game had that it doesn't have already. Um, is it a card? Is it a game mode? Is it a feature? Tell me, tell me in detail and I will use this opportunity and forward all of your comments to the developers. Perhaps some of them might come soon if we if we ask for them a lot. And I will I will encourage you guys, if you see a comment that you really like, a feature that somebody else posted that you really, really enjoyed, hit the thumbs up button. I will select the, the, the top five or six of the most um like comments on the comment section and i will forward them to the developers but that's it that's how you enter leave me that comment with your in-game name and the epic that you want to get and that description of what you wish the game had that it doesn't um and you will be automatically entered to the giveaway remember i will pick that winner next week on my next team wars video um don't forget that i'll also be doing tomorrow a live stream and you can also enter on the giveaway and also don't forget that there are other content creators that are actively doing giveaways so if you don't win with me there are plenty of choices um, and opportunities for you to win many of the creators links are going to be down in the description too so guys, that is all I have for you today. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you liked it. Uh, please do take care. And I will catch you tomorrow. Take care, guys. Sol is checking out. Later.